So I'd like to introduce Maria Reyes, who's going to take you back to diary entry number one, day one, 1994. Um, good evening. Um, thank you to all of you guys that took the time to come and listen to our voices. Dear Diary, I always thought that I was a three-letter word, but today I found out it had seven, and they spell grill. My freshman English teacher is way out there. I wonder how she got this job. The administrator should have known better than to give her this class, but I guess she didn't know better than to take it. How is she going to handle four classes full of these school's rejects? Most people, most people at this school doubt that we can even read or write. She probably drives a new car, lives in a three-story house, and, and owns like 500 pairs of shoes. It seems to me that she belongs across the hall with the distinguished scholars. Yeah, she would not She would fit in nicely there. She and those supposedly gifted white kids who think that they're better than everybody else. She walked in here and on, I, I'm sweet and I care about you mode. It's not going to work. We all know she's going to treat us like every, everyone else has. The worst part is, I'm pretty sure she's... She thinks she's going to be the one who changes. She alone, the too young and too white to be working teacher, is going to reform a group of helpless, shut to drop out kids from the hood. I can't deny the fact that this class does seem like a bad rerun of cops, and she has the records to prove it. She's probably going to sit us by alphabetical order to try to stop any fights. Right now, she's probably deciding who she's going to who she's going to transfer out. To her, I'm sure we're the below average kids no one told her about when she was getting her credential. I have to admit, though, some of these fools need an attitude adjustment. Most of these niggas come strapped and ready to bust the cap. It's not like they can get away with it. With their big-ass pants, they could fit me and six of my friends. They could fight a bazooka, and nobody would notice. I don't even think everybody in this class is supposed to be here, because there's a white boy in the corner looking down at his schedule, hoping that his room number is wrong. For, the, for his entire life, he's, he's always been part of the majority. But as soon as he stepped into this room, he became the minority. Being white in this class is not going to give him the same status that he gets in society. And here he gets stared down by most of us, and the other people just think he's either stupid or he must have ditched the day he was supposed to take his assessment test. Then there are the other ones, like me, who are in the middle. Not a badass, but definitely not wearing a pocket protector. I wonder how I ended up in this class. I'm not a disciplinary transfer, and even though English is not my first language, I know I don't belong here. I can already see it. We're going to be stuck with some fat second grade English book that will put us to sleep before we can even flip a page. With this class, though, she's probably going to have a fatter stack of referrals. I wonder how long she's going to stand these punks. I even want to get out of this classroom. I'm sure one of these days she's going to go crying to the principal and ask for her leave. But then again, what else is new? These kids are going to make this lady quit the first week, my friends were saying. Someone said she only lasts a day. I give her a month.